hello everyone welcome back to the channel today we are diving into one of the most remarkable achievements in modern environmental engineering israel's desert miracle the man-made river that transformed the nation this is a story of innovation perseverance and the ability of human ingenuity to overcome seemingly insurmountable natural challenges israel is a country that is mostly arid or semi-arid water has always been scarce and in the early years of its independence the challenge of providing enough water to support agriculture industry and growing cities was enormous the country faced the prospect of severe water shortages that could have limited its growth and development but rather than accepting these limits israel embarked on an ambitious plan to secure its water future at the heart of this transformation is the national water carrier, often described as Israel's man-made river. This system of pipelines, canals, and pumping stations carries water from the Sea of Galilee in the north to the densely populated and arid regions of the south. The concept might sound simple, move water from areas of abundance to areas of scarcity. But the scale, engineering, and environmental challenges involved were anything but simple. The project began in the 1950s and required decades of planning and construction. Engineers had to navigate mountains, valleys, and deserts, overcoming geological obstacles that would have stymied many other projects. Massive pumps lift water over high elevations, while long tunnels cut through solid rock. Every section of the system had to be carefully designed to ensure that water flows efficiently and safely over hundreds of kilometers. One of the most impressive aspects of Israel's water miracle is how it transformed the country's agriculture. Before the national water carrier, farming in Israel was limited to small areas near natural water sources or wells. Many regions, especially in the Negev Desert, were considered too dry to cultivate. After the system was operational, irrigation became possible on a large scale, allowing the cultivation of crops that would have been impossible otherwise. Today, Israel produces fruits, vegetables, and grains in areas that were once barren. The technology behind this transformation did not stop with simply transporting water. Israel also became a pioneer in drip irrigation a method that delivers water directly to plant roots in precise amounts. This technique reduces water waste and ensures that crops receive the exact moisture they need to thrive. Combining the national water carrier with advanced irrigation methods turned Israel into a global leader in agricultural technology, despite its limited natural water resources. Another crucial benefit of the man-made river was its impact on urban development. Cities in southern Israel, such as Beersheba and Eilat, expanded rapidly thanks to a reliable water supply. Industries that require large amounts of water, including high-tech manufacturing and food processing, could establish themselves far from traditional water sources. The availability of water also improved public health and living standards, allowing communities to flourish in previously inhospitable areas. Environmental considerations were always part of the project, though not without challenges. The diversion of water from the Sea of Galilee, Israel's largest freshwater reservoir, required careful management to maintain ecological balance. Over the years, authorities have worked to monitor water levels, prevent pollution, and ensure that both human and natural needs are met. Innovations such as water recycling, desalination, and conservation policies have complemented the national water carrier, creating a sustainable and resilient water network. Israel's desert miracle is also a story of social cohesion and national vision. Building such an ambitious project required coordination between government agencies engineers, scientists, and local communities. It required decades of political commitment and public support, as well as the ability to overcome setbacks and technical difficulties. 
The result is not just an infrastructure project, but a symbol of national determination and innovation. The impact of this man-made river extends beyond Israel's borders. The country has become a global leader in water technology, sharing expertise in desalination, irrigation, and water management with nations facing their own water crises. Countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America have sought Israeli knowledge to help develop sustainable water solutions, highlighting how local ingenuity can have a worldwide influence. It's also important to recognize the ongoing evolution of Israel's water strategy. As climate change intensifies and populations grow, water scarcity remains a pressing concern. Israel continues to invest in new technologies, including desalination plants along the Mediterranean coast that turn seawater into fresh water and advanced monitoring systems that optimize water use. These innovations ensure that the man-made river remains effective and adaptable for the future. The story of Israel's man-made river is inspiring because it shows how human determination can overcome natural limitations. Deserts, mountains, and scarce rainfall posed immense obstacles. Yet a combination of vision, science, and engineering turned these challenges into opportunities. What once seemed impossible became a lifeline for a nation, transforming deserts into productive lands and enabling communities to thrive in places once considered inhospitable. This transformation is not just physical, it is cultural and psychological as well. The availability of water has changed how Israelis see their environment. It has fostered a sense of confidence in human ingenuity and reinforced the importance of planning, sustainability, and innovation. The man-made river stands as a daily reminder that resource scarcity can be met with creativity and determination. For anyone studying environmental engineering, agriculture, or national development, Israel's experience offers invaluable lessons. First, it demonstrates the importance of integrated planning. Infrastructure, technology, and human capacity must all work together to achieve lasting results. Second, it highlights the need for adaptability. Water management is not a one-time achievement. It requires ongoing innovation to respond to changing conditions. Finally, it shows the value of vision and persistence. Transformative projects take decades to realize, and success often depends on sustained commitment from multiple generations. The man-made river has also sparked debates and inspired new ideas about water equity and sustainability. Questions about how to balance urban, agricultural, and environmental needs are universal, and Israel's approach provides a model for others facing similar dilemmas. The combination of infrastructure, technology, and policy illustrates how complex challenges can be met with holistic solutions. In conclusion, Israel's desert miracle is a testament to human resilience and innovation. The national water carrier, the man-made river, and the supporting technologies have reshaped the nation, turning scarcity into opportunity and deserts into fertile land. It is a story of vision, engineering brilliance, and enduring commitment that continues to inspire both Israelis and people around the world. Every time water flows from the north to the south, it carries with it more than just a resource. It carries a story of hope, perseverance, and the transformative power of human ingenuity. Israel's man-made river is more than a technical achievement. It is a symbol of what can be accomplished when a nation refuses to accept natural limits and dares to dream big. Even today, as the world faces climate change and growing water challenges, Israel's experience reminds us that innovation, determination, and careful planning can turn scarcity into abundance. It teaches that no challenge is too great when vision meets technology and collective effort. The desert has been transformed, not by chance,
but by the courage and intelligence of those who believed that the impossible could be achieved. This story leaves us with an important lesson. Human creativity, when combined with careful planning and sustainable practices, has the power to reshape the world. Israel's man made river is living proof that deserts can bloom, communities can thrive, and nations can overcome limitations once thought insurmountable. It is a reminder that with determination, innovation, and collaboration, remarkable transformations are possible anywhere on the planet.